Hi everyone, my name is Philip and I'm a technical lead at Hugging Face and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy Hugging Face transformers to Azure using the Hugging Face Azure ML endpoints. We start at the Azure portal and the first thing we need to do is to search for our Hugging Face Azure ML endpoints. We can do this by searching for Hugging and then at the marketplace section we should see the Hugging Face Azure ML endpoints. And this will bring us to the, the uh, marketplace offering. We can click on create, which will then allow us to create our Hugging Face managed application on Azure. As a resource group, I'm going to select uh, the test resource group here. You can select the resource group where you want your managed app to be deployed. Region, we are going to go with the East US region. The name will be Hugging Face uh, Video and the application name. It's also going to be Hugging Face. And the managed resource group is not important. It's basically where later all of our Azure resources are stored. You can change it if you want, but you can also leave it as it is. And the next step is text. We don't need any text right now. And then we can go to review and create, which will validate our um, inputs. And then we have to access the, term, uh, the conditions. This basically means that you as a user are allowing us Hugging Face to later deploy um, or create resources for you. And now we can click create. What's now going to happen is that um, our managed application with some um, base Azure resources are going to be created. This takes around one minute um, after the deployment is done. Um, I'll be back. The deployment of our managed application is now complete and we can now start creating our Azure ML endpoints. Therefore, we go to the resource which will bring us to our highly faced managed application. And then on the left side, we can find under resources preview hugging face endpoints, which is our central place for all our hugging face endpoints later. Meaning we will have an overview of all our created endpoints. We can add more, we can delete them or edit them. Um, obviously, since we created our managed application, we don't have any endpoints available yet. Therefore, we will add one. And to create a new hugging face endpoint, we only have to provide a hugging face model ID and need to select an instance type. For our model, we go to the Hugging Face Hub, select a model. In this case, we will use the Distal Bird based uncased fine-tune on SSD2, which is a Distal Bird model fine-tuned for text classification. We go back to our Azure resource, paste our um, Hugging Face model ID, and then we can select our compute instance type. Here, you need to make sure that you have available Azure ML compute um, for your instance. So, the, the drop down is showing all available Azure ML instances, but it's not validating in the UI if you have capacity or not. So in our case, if we would like to deploy a T4, you have to make sure that you have available capacity. If not, the creation will fail. But for our case, we don't need a GPU. We will go with the F2 series, which is the CPU optimized um, instance for our model. Then we can hit review and submit, make sure that we have the correct model ID, yes, and our instance type, and then we can click submit. And now our resource is created. On the top right side, we can see it's creating resources, meaning that our backend is now validating all of the, the information we provided, meaning that it checks if the model ID we provided is a valid model on the Hugging Face Hub. It also makes sure that we have enough capacity available. If, for example, we wouldn't have enough capacity for our F2 um, instance series, we would see a failure here. And then we can go to the details and check what is the error. And then we should see out of capacity. Uh, a few more seconds and then we should see our green checkbox and also should see our first endpoint with endpoint creation state. Also something pretty cool about the Hugging Face um, Azure ML endpoints is that uh, we are automatically deriving the task for the model. So you have seen that we only provided a model ID and didn't provide which task we want to use. The task is automatically derived from 
the model information. So we didn't need to specify that our model is a text classification model. This, this was done automatically. And while I was talking, our validation or custom resource um, was successfully created and um, the dashboard is currently loading. So yes, perfect. Here we see our new endpoint with our status, which is currently in creating. And within five to 10 minutes, our endpoint um, should be created. And then our deployment was also created. Once this is done, I'll come back. The deployment of our endpoint succeeded and we can now see that uh, the managed application um, derived the task. Um, we can also see our endpoint URI, which we di could directly copy and paste into our application. We can see our instance type as well as the S Azure resource link, which we are going to use to test our endpoint. We can copy the Azure resource link, paste it into our um, browser, which will now like jump into Azure Machine Learning Studio to our endpoint, which has been created. In here, we can go to test and can test our endpoint. The endpoint is using the same API schema as the Hugging Face Inference API, meaning that we need to provide a JSON with the inputs key and then a sentence. This model runs on Azure. I am happy. And now I can hit test and we'll get back our positive from our model. Also, if you want to integrate it into your application, uh, Azure ML provides code snippets um, for Python, C Sharp and R, which you can directly copy and paste into your application as well as you can regenerate your keys in case of any um, security um, guidelines. Okay. Um, then we can go back to our um, overview of our managed application and could either create more endpoints into um, our hiking phase application or we can again delete our endpoint. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about Hugging Face Azure ML endpoints, feel free to reach out to us via email. Uh, when you deploy your managed application, there should be a support email you can contact, or we also have a dedicated section in our Hugging Face forum. Since um, the purpose of this video was to demo you how you can create it, we also make sure that we delete our endpoint to save resources, which will now, deleting our custom resource, should reload in a second and then we'll clean up all of the um, infrastructure behind the scenes. Thank you and bye.